fam's eye clay kicks back again with a brand new video and if you guys are new to the channel strolling by and have yet to subscribe please make sure you smash that subscribe button hit that like button if you enjoy the content you are seeing enough talking let's get into the review What's good, sneaker fam? Zyclic kicks back again with a brand new video, and today we have a rare gem to add to the collection. This is a beauty. This is the Air Force One RTFKT Human, and uh, this is a company that was purchased by Nike. It is a NFT um, collectibles company, so Nike owns it. They've done a lot of collabs together and dropped a lot of dope shoes, and uh, for this set, they did drop 10 rare Air Force Ones, really, really premium and very creative, futuristic pairs. Um, so basically, the way you get this shoe is you have to own the NFT, which costs a lot of money for those who are into NFTs. In the beginning, these things were selling for like 30, 40K. Uh, I already knew this was a bust, so I never got into NFTs. Obviously, right now, the market is not that good, but Nike is in the market space and they're trying to build on it, and they can because they are a multi-billion dollar company, and this works with their product and doing special releases for people that own the NFTs. But basically, during forging events, holders of eligible digital collectibles can redeem made-to-order physical product. So you have to have the NFT, and then you have to forge and get certain things to unlock these items, and uh, you get them for free. You don't have to pay for them which is the cool thing. So these expensive NFTs actually come in handy for sneaker collectors. So there's 10 Air Force Ones in total. They're all limited, but not the full max number of each Air Force One was minted. So that means some pairs didn't get made, unfortunately. So there's actually less pairs than when the actual number says on the sneaker. So let's check out the packaging and then we'll check out the shoes. So here is the box, which is pretty dope, very robotic, futuristic-like, and uh, pretty cool. And it is a pull-out box, so you can pull it out like that. It does have a nice display window right here. And this is Artifact's uh, logo right here, which is a blade, so you'll see that throughout the packaging. This is the RTFKT times Nike Air Force One Human natural Baltic blue natural so you guys can put in that code on StockX and eBay if you want to purchase this shoe um, pretty dope really nice packaging um, also what comes with the packaging is two bags and a shirt with all 10 pairs of the Air Force one from this set so this is all 10 pairs of the Air Force ones they all vary by uh, how rare they are um, these shoes range anywhere from a thousand all the way to like eight to ten thousand dollars Depending which pair it is also There's one pair. I think that's like twenty five thousand uh, because they made Such a limited amount of the shoe. I think it's only like 25 or 28 pairs Don't quote me on that, but it's super limited It is the second pair of Murakami's in the set the first one is the most available one Which I believe is like three thousand and something pairs um, I will be adding that pair to the collection very soon as well. Um, but yeah, it comes with two bags. One bag is for the shirt and one bag is for the sneakers. Um, my pair did not come with the shirt in the bag. Um, but that's cool. Really don't care about that. But mine did come with the bag for the shoe. So you got the little barcode, Nike, and artifact right there. Got this nice little design on the bag. This is great material got the little metal drawstring things right here which is pretty dope and then on the other side you can see the strap you got the Nike swoosh you got clone X you got artifact got that iridescent vibe right there and it shows you all 10 pairs so you got obviously we got the human so you got the little logo right there you got Genesis human robot demon angel Murakami drip Reptile, Undead, the other Murakami, DNA, and Alien. Those are all the pairs that are available from this set. And if you own all 10 pairs, um, they actually give you a free what the 
uh, pair. So basically all 10 pairs put together in one shoe. No one has gotten that pair as of yet. I'm pretty sure they're waiting for other people to finish collecting the set. And then once you show proof, they will uh, send you the what the version, which is pretty dope. And if you already pay for the NFT, you don't have to pay for these shoes. So people that are getting these shoes and reselling them are making 100% profit. But I'm pretty sure they paid a lot of money for those NFTs because that's when these th when NFTs were hot and people were just paying crazy amounts of money. But here is the shoe. And these things are nice. This is the nicest pair out of the whole collection, in my opinion. This, there's a green and orange pair. I forgot the name of that, which is super limited. Those go for like 7,000. And the Murakamis I like as well. But this shoe right here, I like it. It's very clean. Reminds me of the Tiffany. So the reason they called it Baltic Blue and put it a little lighter shade than the Tiffany is because they didn't want to get sued. Um, but this is like a nice version um, like a reverse version of the Tiffany, but just much better in my opinion. The quality on this is top notch. Um, Nike did not disappoint when it came to this. This sneaker is inspired by human DNA. Um, it has six ounce BCI cotton canvas. So this entire upper is a six ounce BCI cotton canvas. And uh, I'll show you that canvas material right now. Very high quality, not cheap stuff that you normally see on regular uh, GRs or premium Nike shoes. They make these a little extra special because of the NFTs. Um, it also has premium leather. Like this has really premium buttery leather. The inner lining is that nice natural color on the inside. Also, the insoles are a nice premium leather as well. And we'll get more into the details of the shoes once I go over um, the materials. You got a nice leather right here on the swoosh in that Baltic blue. Check out that quality right there. So you got the cotton canvas right here on the uppers. You got this dope Dubre right here, which uh, says Clonex. Obviously, these were minted, right? So the NFT thing, kind of the vial where the sneaker was created that's what this dubre stands for i thought it was fully 3d but it's not but pretty dope anyway you got nike right here you got this leather patch really nice I'll take this out so you guys can see let's take out this insole so it's a nice leather insole with that natural color you can see clone x and under that insole, when you take it out, you can see the footbed. It says human, total supply, 1,782. Now, when I checked online, it was about 1,500 pairs that actually were created. So, like I said, the numbers won't be accurate because not everyone made the shoes. They did this amount and expected everyone to get them, but a couple people uh, did not. So, it's actually less pairs. But there you go. Everything is all natural color on the uppers besides the swoosh that stands out and the Dubre. Check out the outsole. Very nice and simple and clean. On the back, you got the Clone X embroidered right there in white in that Baltic blue. Man, that leather wrapped around is just premium. And when you flip it, you got the artifact logo right here with the blade instead of the swoosh which is pretty dope and again you have the artifact little logo below that as well another cool detail about this shoe is the size tag it doesn't have your normal retail size tag like other nike products it has more of a promo sample looking tag which is pretty dope now if we look at the other pair you see it's similar but when you look on the other side, you do have the hand, which stands for human. You see that right there. And on the tongue tag, you do have the blade artifact logo. You have artifact right here. Very simple, very clean. I think this is why this is a lot of people's favorite because it's not doing too much. A lot of the other pairs are crazy colors. And uh, also... There, a lot of them are patent leather. A lot of them have like this leather with like the Murakamis have like this print. So if you wear it, it kind of 
gets messed up. This is a pair right here that will hold up and um, definitely looks good on feet. This reminds you of the Tiffany Air Force One we recently uh, just seen. Um, the linens, it has that vibe to it. So it has that aura of being a classic Air Force One. It reminds you of that old school stuff. So that's why I picked this up. It was a great price as well. And um, pretty cool details and just looks fly. Uh, of course, we're going to check this out on feet. But we're going to do some uh, B-roll of these bad boys so you can see uh, more of the shoe.